Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name's Allison and welcome to my 2023 bullet journal setup. With the new year comes time to switch to a new bullet journal. This is an A5 dot grid notebook from Archer and Olive. I love their products and this one was gifted to me I think about a year or two ago. It's a beautiful green with gold foiled flower pot on the cover. I always start by writing my name on the first page. Now I wanted to incorporate the green of the journal into my setup so the primary three colors I'll be using are green, tan, and blue. So I'm starting off my first page with making my key. I had cut some craft paper earlier from another notebook to use throughout my setup. The key just details the symbols used in my bullet journal and their meanings. Mine are pretty basic, but the nice thing about bullet journaling is that you can tailor it to you and include or not include any pages that you want. So my main theme throughout this setup are green and tan wavy lines and using blue as an accent color. I did this to add some color to my pages in a very simple way that ties everything together. On the right hand side I will be writing out the new year 2023. My next spread is the future log, which is basically a year overview. It's nice to reference back to when I'm making my monthly setups. For the future log, I'm using craft paper for each month and I like to leave some room underneath so I can write down important future dates. Writing out each month is so tedious, so I highly suggest stickers if you have some. I know you can find some on Etsy, but just like that, the future log is finished. Now onto my grid space guide, which is nice to reference back to when I'm planning out a page. I first number down vertically and horizontally and then mark off my halves. I'm also going to be including my most commonly used spacing. So on the right, I'll be using this page to write down my goals for the year. Now onto one of my favorite pages to include in my yearly setup, my favorites page. This is where I'll write down my favorite movies, shows, music, and books that I've come across for this year. It's always nice to look back upon at the end of the year. On the right page, I'm making my bookshelf. I fill out the bookshelf whenever I finish reading a book. Last year, I had a goal of 25 books and finished 32, which is a lot for me. So this year, I'll be setting my goal at 30. I've drawn out 30 books, saving some space to add extra if needed. Do you have any reading goals for 2023? If so, let me know in the comments below.
that's it for my yearly setup. Now for my January spread. I'm including my January spread in this video just to save on time and I'm going to be keeping it very simple with just a monthly page, habit, and mood trackers. So for my monthly spread, I'm using a two-page setup just so I have enough room to write things down because I won't be making any weeklies for this month. habit tracker i'm going in with my regular four habits just using a tan brush pen to color in my trackers now for my mood tracker just keeping it very simple and doing a bar graph layout Now just adding the finishing touches. So that's it for my habit and mood trackers. And that concludes the end of this setup. Now time for the flip through. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like watching videos like this, please hit subscribe. I hope this new year brings you joy. If you made it all the way to the end, please add a green heart emoji to the comments. And until next time, bye!